your Sonoscape S8 EXP Expert and you have a transducer plugged in, it will come to this screen. Up here you can choose which probe you want to scan with, the sector or the linear, the two probes I have plugged in, and then you would go ahead and select your application. To go back to that screen, I'm going to hit exam, and here are all the different presets that are there for this particular probe. And when I switch probes, I have a whole new set of presets and calculations available for that package. Here I'll just select the cardiovascular, and all these blank spaces are for custom user presets. I have here a test that I created of my own, and it's cardiovascular, and we'll show you how to get that in a later movie. So let's go ahead and start with cardiovascular and take a look at the system. Here I'm going to press the set key to get started. Now immediately you're set up with this screen and we'll take a quick tour of the user interface. Across here we have what's called soft keys. These soft keys refer to the menus up along here. The focal number, line density, if I push the center button here it'll change so I can change the line density by twisting it change the focal number by twisting that. And that goes the same for all of this. And these are context-based menus. When you go to a different scanning mode, such as color Doppler or pulse wave Doppler, this changes down here and you can change different things such as the frequency. I go back to B mode, I get that. So here we have the soft keys and coming down we have just a standard QWERTY keyboard up top here we have M tuning, which is automatic optimization for your imaging. Standard keyboard across here. Here's where we're going to enter our patient, enter a new patient, go to our report, our file menu for looking at exams, pictures, images that you've taken, or cine loops, tissue harmonics imaging, elastic for elastography. Here's where we looked at creating a new exam. This is where we would set that preset and choose our setting, press the set key dual imaging mode, quad imaging mode, end exam, swap left or right, swap up and down, 3D, 4D if you have that option enabled, focus to change your focal zones, this little red arrow refers to the focal zones, change your depth, going up and down, PRF for pulse repetition frequency, baseline for your baseline, and those are for Doppler modes, and steer is also for Doppler. Down along here we have our menu button. This is where you would get to some of the system settings or it will take you into further settings for optimizing your image such as panoramic, trapezoidal imaging, uh, and some of these such as compound imaging, things that will allow you to make further adjustments to your screen. You would select that and then twist this knob. U scan, which is what I'm adjusting right now, is the speckle reduction technology. Press it again to get rid of that menu. Here you have your print keys. You can set up for a report printer or a DICOM printer. Delete and clear are for your annotations. ANNOT is for your annotations, so you can create them. This menu also from the exam screen, this is where you would get to your system settings by going to the exam screen and pressing menu, and you can get your system settings there. We will see that in a later movie. Coming down here, we have our color Doppler. So when we go into our exam, we press down the middle button to get to color Doppler and this doubles as your gain control when you twist it it will turn up and down your Doppler gain. And that Doppler gain will also work for your pulse wave CW Doppler. 3D 4D if you have it enabled. DPI is for power Doppler imaging. TDI for tissue Doppler, pulse wave, CW Doppler, and M mode. Around the trackball we have our more commonly used items such as the update key, which you'll use mostly in the Doppler modes, distance for a standard distance measurement, area for a standard area measurement, trackball, which will allow you to switch between the pointer and the trackball, calculations for your calculations package, so when I freeze the image I can press calc and I have my calculations up along here, and the set key is like your left button on a mouse for a PC. It's what you'll do to select different items, you click the set key to choose those options. Press calc again to get rid of that. B mode to go into the 2D imaging. 
I'll push that down whenever I want to get out of an imaging mode or change something. I'll just press the B mode down and it takes me back to the 2D imaging. This also operates as a gain control. Just by twisting it. The save button saves a single image. So when I freeze it, I can hit save. It'll say save image. I'll press and hold to save a cine loop. And across here, it'll show the cine loop. I've got it set to save 199 frames. We just showed you the freeze key. Angle is for your PW Doppler, and it will also adjust some different items, such as your zoom box, where you'll press zoom, where you can increase and decrease the size of your zoom box. Body marker, freeze, click body marker, and you can twist the angle of the transducer for whichever body mark you choose. And the same for your arrow key. You can twist it, and we'll see some of that in the annotations. Your TGCs are over here, and if you're not familiar with these, these are called time gain compensation. I'll put some gel on a probe here and show you exactly what it does. So here we have the normal gain where we can increase or decrease the gain throughout the whole image. Up here we see the adjustments to the gain going up and down. So if we have the gain at a normal level, I'm going to hit the M tuning so it optimizes it. These time gain compensation controls, you'll see this over here, it works as gain for certain parts of the image. So if I turn it up in certain areas, you'll see it get brighter in a certain part of the image. Here I'm just scanning my finger. I can turn up the gain up top there or turn it all the way down. Typically, you want to have it in an angle like this. And you'll adjust it as you get to know the machine better, but a lot of people just leave it right there and that's how they image. Basically the reason is you get better resolution up top and you don't need as much gain up top. But as the image goes further, you lose some of the image quality and you'll get the gain higher further in, in the image. Going around the screen, up here we have the facility name, the patient ID, which it automatically created when I started this exam the transducer, the mechanical and thermal indexes, the date, the time. Along here we mentioned the soft keys. Since I'm in a frozen, I get this little menu right here showing the cine loop and I can use the trackball. THI saying tissue harmonics is on. If I unfreeze, I can turn it off. And here we have for frames per second, our Doppler, our gray maps, the gain control, the image processing. These are some of those things that you would see in this menu through here the frequency you're running, and the depth, which is the furthest depth down, which is 1, 2, 3, 4.3 centimeters, right here. 